Hey, I'm Rob Fulton with Woodshed Red, and come see us at the Pikes Peak Art Festival July 4th weekend. Hi, I'm Nora Harden, the Executive Director of the Pikes Peak Arts Council. We're the producers of the Pikes Peak Art and Music Festival. In our 11th year, we produce this festival in America the Beautiful Park in downtown Colorado Springs. And our hope is and our goal for the festival is to grow the arts and culture audience here in our community. Hi, I'm Michael Hannigan. I'm Deb Hannigan. We're with Tectonic Studio and we're new artists for the Pikes Peak Art and Music Festival this year in 2015. What we do is we take things that people have thrown away and we try to create beautiful pieces of art out of what was waste and uh, rusted metal and weathered wood to other people sometime in the past. Um, we're excited to be in the Pikes Peak Art and Music Festival as new artists. It's a wonderful opportunity for us. We've just retired and uh, this is a new endeavor for us and so this is a way for us to get involved uh, and uh, around people who have been doing this professionally for a long time and learn a lot from them. I'm Andrew Hirschberger of Andrew Hirschberger Creative, and I urge you to support the 11th Annual Pikes Peak Arts and Music Festival. If you love arts and culture, this is a festival that has everything you could possibly want. Fine art, fine craft, great live performances on our stage, good food, Bristol beer, a wonderful atmosphere here in America, the beautiful park in downtown Colorado Springs. We're going to be open late until 8 p.m. on Friday, July 3rd, to take advantage of First Friday downtown. And we hope you'll come out and uh, see what we're all about. Thanks. Most importantly, I think arts and culture is really important to the community uh, as raising the quality of life uh, for all. Uh, so arts and culture is really important. And uh, the Pikes Peak Arts and Music Festival is a signature event in Colorado Springs.